What up guys, it's Marty Blends back with another Cinematic Tutorial and today we have a nice V-shaped drop fit to go over so let's jump right into it. Moisten up your canvas and section two identical parting. Then clip away everything you won't be touching. It was my first time cutting this model up, so I made sure his partings were straight and symmetrical. With the number 2 open, slightly begin debulking. Make sure to flick out a tad bit when reaching the parietal ridge area. As you can see, I use my comb to make sure I bring down all the hair so none is left behind. With your preferred trimmer, create your first baseline. In this case, we are going for a drop fit, so be sure to drop it towards the occipital area. You now want to debulk all the excess hair left underneath. Be sure to do the step patiently and lay down the blade flat on the scalp. For a cleaner look, shave down all the stubble left behind using your shaver of choice. With your clipper now, open up the lever and create a half inch guideline, following the shape of that baseline. Remember to be extremely clean with every step throughout the cut. Close up the lever now and hit that baseline halfway through the guideline. Eventually you will gradually open up the lever as you move up on this guide. You can use your trimmer to get rid of any visible line left from that baseline we created earlier. With your half guard fully open, make a half inch guideline. Next with your number one, go up another half inch. Don't be scared to dig in since we are going to finish off using the one and a half right above. Although I do suggest you flick out a tad bit at the end of every stroke. Clipper over comb if you see any slight tips from the bulk itself. Finally, with your lever fully open, get rid of any visible line you're able to see within the blend itself. Using corners throughout the step will make your fade much more blurry. No matter what, you're always going to have to come back to specific guards and detail. It's just part of the process so don't go around it, the client will also appreciate it.
guys the other side is the exact same thing i actually recommend you to do all the steps around as you go i personally do this for demonstration purposes only I do want to say thank you to each and every one of you guys who stay supporting the channel. It truly means everything to me and I really appreciate it. If you guys do happen to be asking yourself where to get these guards, they are available in plenty different colorways at MartyBlends.com. Also, don't forget you can fully customize your baby's clippers to whatever color you desire, but make sure you use Marty 10 at checkout to save a ton. If you're a new upcoming barber, make sure to stay extremely patient. It's part of the game to have some difficulty when you're first starting off. There are lots of tutorials throughout my channel on different haircuts and hair types, so make sure to do your studying. Don't forget to comment down below if you have any questions and help each other out if you do see something that you know the answer to. I did end up adding a V-shaped design to give it some uniqueness. Personally, I like using the FX3s for tight spaces like so. Enhancements aren't necessary, but in this case, I decided to add some before hitting the lineup with my trimmer. As for the top, I did freehand a lot of bulk towards the rear and clipper over cone. I now diffuse everything to bring out texture and spray everything down with hairspray to have a nice solid finish. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Please make sure to be subscribed and like this video. Again, I'm Marty Blends, and I'm out. Peace.